Weimark with Monroe. And Weimark fell before he could make contest. Woods beaten by Palmer. Woods again, trying to find Mariner. Can he turn out for walk? Superb with the play. We've seen it happen before. He can't have seen much of that one, but he did very well to get a touch of it. John Walk with a famous power drive from outside the area. Just touched to Mariner, nicely laid into his path. Hammered hard and a great save. Monroe's kick. One by Sunderland to Carr. Osborne's in there hard. Parking on the left flank. Here comes Hibbert. Torbett's coming to him. Hunter. And he's lost it to Richards. Now it's dangerous. A good chip. He's taking it in. No, the Rajman says, play on. Play on. Although there are two or three Wolves players coming over to protest. Let's have a look at it again as Richards chips it up beautifully. The goalkeeper seemed to have it. He let it slip. His body fell behind the line, certainly, but did the ball. Now Osborne. Weimark going over the far side. In comes Torbert. With Daly there. And good bit of blocking by Mills. A left back there in the left wing position. Mills again. Now a bit of time at last for Hunter. Munro able to let it go with guidance I feel from Pierce here. And space for Parkin. And space two for Hibbert and Richards. Sunderland's over the far side. Patching has crept up. Out comes the goalkeeper. Sunderland gets it. It's an empty net. And it's saved by Walk. Time, the judgment of Cooper was incorrect. The cross hit over. He made a terrific amount of ground, but Sunderland knocking it into space. An invitation for an empty net, but Walk was there. Short one taken. Cooper stays on his line. And here comes Sunderland. It's there. Richards. Richards with his 10th goal in 10 games and really that one was coming a little bit of a misunderstanding in defence the corner came out to Sunderland Cooper did well to get down for the shot but Richards showing his class and his foresight was in there to knock it home 1-0 the Wolves Woods good header. Mills Torbert Woods behind him if required now a chance for a cross with Mariner the deep man this is for Weimark and here it comes again. Goal kick. Despite the appeals of the Wolves players, Osborne up there in the thick of the mud, the action. Mariner was in on this one too. Hunter and Roberts are there. This is Woods. Hunter got it. Osborne is chasing hard. Weimark. And the goalkeeper made a superb save. Tremendous reflexes by Pierce. That was a superbly hit shot by Weimark. Kept it very, very low, but the goalkeeper down like a ton of bricks. Well, he's earned a bit of a blow. Richards and Mills there, Richards wins, Hunter can't get it, it's Kinden against Roberts, and here's Hibbert, and Roberts wins that well, and Hibbert gets in. Mariner with Parkin, Woods to Walk, 
And there's Talbot, he's onside. Weimark goes over the far side. In comes Weimark. What a save! That's the best save we've seen in Paul Monroe this season by a mile. A good deep cross. A tremendous header from Weimark. How on earth did he get down that low that fast? And back they come again. Bird has gone wide on the right. And now Wolves can break. Kindon's there, down the middle goes Richards, Kindon for the return, off the face of Roberts, but Kindon's still going. Richards over the far side, here comes Richards. That's a miss, that's the chance that could have signed it up. And I believe he knows that. He was the man who put the cross over, it was made originally by Richards, a good cross, Richards had the defence on the wrong foot, and put it too far the other side of the post. Weimark, hard to turn and control in the mud, but Walk's doing it well. Now it's an Ipswich throw. And Mariner, he's away from his man, he's through. And Weimark gets in there. Now it's Osborne. And a turn for Mariner. At last, he's beaten. But my word has taken a long, long time. As the ball came out to Roger Osborne, he shot. It really hadn't got the power to beat anybody, but it was well controlled by Mariner. A quick turn into the roof of the net, and it's 1-1. Taking in turns to take the kicks. And it drops for Burley. And Mills. Mariner inside for Weimark. Well knocked back by Daly. Gone for Sunderland there if he's required. In fact, a better ball would have been for Daly, but he picks it up now. He's doing a lot of good work in midfield. And gone for the return here from Kingdom. Looking for Richards. He finds Patching. Patching now with a chance. And all the Wolves players hold their heads. What a superb bit of running though by Steve Day. He retrieved the ball. He took a give and go from Kingdom. The quick cross found Patching. He was there. He was hasty. And Ipswich off the hook. Hunter with Richards. And now Kindon's in a good position. Now Richards can finish it off. He's done it. Richards strikes again. And Ipswich, I think, are out of the cup. In the last three minutes, the game petering towards the replay at Molyneux, and suddenly Wolves strike again. And the ball moved beautifully out to the right to Kindon. A fine return, and Richards, with nobody marking him, this time tucks it quietly past goalkeeper Cooper, and Wolves are 2-1 up. So Richards having this remarkable run, the player who's recovered at 25 years of age with six months out of the game because of a pelvis injury, two cartilages, and... After only 10 games, he scores his 11th goal, and that could be good enough to knock the second favourite Zipswich right out of this year's FA Cup competition. Here comes Carr out there now, he's got a chance to pull one back, he's got Hibbert in the middle. Nobody beyond Hibbert, Kindon's getting to it. And that's out. Mills desperately anxious to keep it moving, but I don't think it matters now. We're in injury time. Palmer punting one forward. Hunter.
first throw now. Torben for Woods. Osborne says, get it into the middle. Up goes Weimark. McCall gets it first. And a great save. Here's a chance for Burley. Into the roof of the net.